John Holcomb. I'm one of the trauma surgeons here. I'm heading to see the new interns. They uh, were medical students yesterday, and now they're doctors. And we're going to help them make that transition so that they can take care of really sick patients. Teaching hospitals exists to train the next generation of doctors, nurses, medics. So put a cortis in there. Don't put a triple lumen. Put a cortis in there. If you look around, people are learning everything we do. Let's do the playlist. What I try to do is this faculty in a teaching hospital is make sure you kind of nudge over here and nudge over there. Well, we've seen a lot of you guys yeah, over the next year. As everybody has said, welcome. Everybody knows you're brand new. There is no secret, right? You don't have the red flashing badge that says, I'm the brand new intern, but everybody knows. And it's OK. You never want to lose that weight of responsibility. What happens if you lose that weight and you stop caring? What happens to the patients? They die. Put your hand there. People hold that leg right there. Don't let it move. There you go. Hold it right there. So if you don't know something, ask, OK? Why do we do it here? Because it's fun to teach. You know, you're a busy place. It's actually in the Hippocratic Oath. I will pass on what I have learned to those who come after me. And I really think that uh, this is one of the really most rewarding things about being in a teaching hospital. What are the different kinds of shock? What are they? Anybody, name one. Hypovolemic. We get the residents for five years. We don't have a breaking in period wherein people get to act like maybe they're doctors. You know, you're a doctor, and on day one, you're going to start being a doctor. The first time I work with a resident and they're about to take that knife and put it on the skin the first time, the feeling that I have, inner terror, OK? I have no idea how this is going to turn out. You have expectations because people are well trained, but at some point, you got to take the training wheels off and roll. And that isn't just true for the resident, that's true for the attending as well. Call someone when your patient's hypotensive. That won't change when you're at my level, OK? I would have never thought I would have been in a teaching hospital. The real significant part is the training of the next generation, wow. you know, because we all go away. And somebody's got to take care of them. It just, it's a constant flow.